In this Canva tutorial, I'm gonna show you two ways to make QR codes with two different apps here in Canva. Now on the left-hand side, I said app, which means you do need to install an app, but it's really easy to use. So we go to this apps section in whatever project you're in, and in here we can search for QR code. And there's a lot of different apps that allow us to uh, make a QR code. Some of them are connected to other sites like Bitly. The two we're gonna look at is the first one, which is one of the most simple, just QR code, and then also this dynamic one. So we'll look at QR code first. Now we can go to open here, and this was created by Canva, so you know it works really well. Uh, we're gonna enter in a URL, like pixelandbracket.com. We can customize it, and we can choose the background color, and then the foreground color. So the foreground color will be the actual shapes of the QR code, the background color will be, well, the background color, right? And then we can choose a margin around the QR code and then generate that code. So we see a QR code out here. If we scan it, it goes to pixelandbracket.com. We can also go in here to the background, maybe edit this to be something that we can actually see. So you can see how it has a white background on it. Now, I don't believe that you can customize this background color to be transparent. So if you would want that, then we can go to, and I'll just put this guy right up here really quick. We can go to our apps again, and we can look at the dynamic QR code. Uh, this one was created by Hover Code. You don't have to have an account with Hover Code, but you can still use this to create a more dynamic QR code. So there's lots of different templates here you can start with. I'm gonna pick one like this clean one in the lower left-hand corner, and we can do the same thing, like go to pixelandbracket.com. We can select the QR code color. Maybe I want it to be black. And then we could select the QR code background color, which can be transparent. So you can see here that it's just going to be black and then transparent. Now this is a kind of a gray, like a charcoal black, but you could make it all the way black if you wanted to. Then we can actually choose a few different patterns here. So the patterns are like what the shapes look like in the QR code. You have triangles and some different things here. We could do circles. Uh, we could do these a big blocky one. We can also upload a logo. So if you want to kind of brand the QR code, you can upload a little PNG logo and it'll put it in the center of your QR code. And then the dynamic part of this allows you to have scan analytics and stuff. A couple of these apps do that like Bitly, but you have to have a Bitly account. This one's hover code. You have to have a hover code account. We don't need to look into that. If you want to look into that, you can for the analytics, but we're just going to add this to the design. Now we created a transparent background so we see behind the uh, QR code itself and we can put this in here. You can see it doesn't have a big white box with it, uh, but it has the logo in the center and you can scan this just like you can scan this other one and it takes you to the same place. Now, we didn't use the same black color here so I could come in here and I could say, you know what, instead of this, it's gonna be, all zeros would be black and then uh, we can add that to the design so that should match a little bit better. You can see the black instead of charcoal and it matches the logo. So you can change the color pretty easily there. And that's how you can make QR codes here in Canva.